There's been some talk recently about Days Gone, a sequel, and all of it has been stirred up by a fellow named John Garvin, who happens to be the man who would have made a Days Gone sequel because he was one of the lead devs who made the original game. I think he was a lead writer. There are a few tweets that highlight a bit of what he said, for one that Days Gone was meant to be a trilogy. If you don't know what Days Gone is or only know a bit about it, I can summarize it for you really quick. It's basically an open world zombie game in the style of various Sony third person action games. Think Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us, God of War, you know, that kind of game. It's a game that I played through and that I personally would label as the best single player zombie game that has ever been made. I will acknowledge that The Last of Us is undeniably probably the best single player story zombie game. But for my personal preferences, I actually liked Days Gone a little more. Now, look, it doesn't exactly have a ton of competition, even though you would think it would. Uh, most bigger zombie games are actually multiplayer, and the ones that aren't are mostly indie developers, uh, who've made some pretty fantastic games, but Days Gone does this on a AAA level. The other zombie game that I'd put on this level is Dying Light, and I know a lot of people would put that above Days Gone, but I don't agree with it. For me, Dying Light is, it's just, it felt like a bit too much of an open world checklist sort of game, uh, which is fun, but I enjoyed Days Gone more overall. I really like story-focused games, right? And Days Gone didn't sell badly either. Despite some criticism and what was generally felt to be a mixed reception with a 72 overall score on Open Critic, by recent times, Days Gone has sold 9 million copies. Not bad for one of the smaller Sony First Party studios. For reference, Ghost of Tsushima sold around 9 to 10 million copies by the last public count, so so why won't there be a sequel for a game that has seemingly sold pretty well, has a fan base that pretty clearly wants more? Well, one of the biggest reasons is that the two lead devs for Days Gone, they're no longer at Sony Bend, but the reason for that is likely also the actual reason that Days Gone isn't getting a sequel. Sony doesn't want one. It seems pretty likely that it didn't hit the marks that they wanted it to in order to greenlight a sequel, whether that be review scores or copies sold when it first came out. But it isn't for lack of trying that the sequel isn't going to be made. The developers wanted to make that sequel happen. In fact, John Garvin, one of the lead devs who left, wasn't the only one who tried. Jeff Ross, who was the other lead dev who ended up leaving, also tried with a different writer and creative director after John Garvin left. So there was an attempt made, <laughs> not just one attempt, but clearly multiple attempts were made by the developers at Sony Bend, but Sony just isn't having it. And unfortunately, it seems like they've gone the way that a lot of studios have gone. Sony has asked them to make something multiplayer. In a report from Eurogamer, they reported that it was revealed in June 2022 that they have a new IP, and that is the developer's uh, Sony Bend. They have a new IP that will include multiplayer and will build on the open world systems that were in Days Gone. Which part of me is a little bit excited for that, but then they had to go and label it as a live service game. And all of this excitement just completely drained out of me. How many failures have we had at this point? Rocksteady with Suicide Squad, Bioware with Anthem, Arcane with Redfall, and now I'm starting to feel that here we go again sort of vibe with Sony Bend. The last thing I want to hear out of any studio that is known for amazing single player games is the words live service. And what do current developers have to say about it at Sony Bend? Well, here's a tweet from Kevin McAllister letting you know. They have a new IP, and they're going to share news soon. These types of headlines originate from previous developers, which puts us in a bad position. Time to move on. So that is what Kevin McAllister said. And look, I don't blame the guy. He's newer to the studio. He wants to prove himself. He's probably put everything he has into this new project. And he's being constantly reminded of Days Gone and asked about it. I'd probably be tired of that too. But to be fair, 
I'd also be one of the people asking about Days Gone sequel, <laughs> so... So why do so many people want a Days Gone sequel? I think the answer is pretty simple. For a topic that is as massively popular as zombie stories, there are surprisingly few AAA story-focused games that involve them. And some of the games that we do have are actually really, really friggin' good. Like, look at The Last of Us. Why would we not want more games like that? Days Gone was also open in a really interesting way. It had a really nice combination of flow to it and some fun explore the markers questing as well. It did both. It was a good combination of exploration uh, off the beaten path and story. Uh, they kind of intermingled the two. And the zombie mechanics were actually interesting and different. They weren't the slow moving zombies that you get from some series. They were fast, and sometimes they'd move in giant waves, so you had to be careful. You had to think about what you were doing in order to not get swarmed and just eaten up. There were a lot of ideas that felt like they had a lot of potential that you could expand on. And Days Gone wasn't a perfect game by any means, but it was good enough that it felt like I wanted to see where they would take it. And it was clearly set up that way too. For anyone that got to the end of the game, you know, it set up a very clear cliffhanger that seemed to be meant to take us to the next part. But apparently that won't happen now. Developers are starting to move on uh, to different things and it seems like the likelihood of them making a comeback is pretty low. And it may not be the last we ever hear of Days Gone, but I have a feeling it'll be some time before they even consider touching on that franchise again. Maybe in the form of a reboot or something like that. Even if it was that, I'd welcome it with open arms because it was a fun game. It's a fun set of ideas. I like the zombie genre and I think they could do a lot with a single player game. Everyone's trying to make multiplayer games, which are great, but you know, I like single player story games. So what do you think? Did you like Days Gone or did you like the idea of it? Let me know. Thanks for watching.